Hello and welcome to the Juicebox tutorial. We are going to explore in-depth examples of the kinds of analyses and insights you can get by visualizing 3D genomic interactions with Juicebox. Today, we'll go through how to use Juicebox on the web. So scroll down and open the link in another tab. We won't go too much into background here, but I do encourage you to watch Professor Aiden's talk on this background tab. He explains the HiC experiment in depth and how we have used contact maps visualized through Juicebox to make important discoveries. Now, let's get started. We'll start with the lightweight version of Juicebox available on the web. If you haven't already done so, click the link and open it in a new tab. Juicebox on the web is run via client-side JavaScript. Any HiC file can be loaded from a URL, and in particular, HiC files that have been uploaded to Dropbox, or Geo, or Google Drive, Amazon S3, or any web server can be streamed. Today we're going to be streaming files that are hosted on ENCODE servers. Click Load Map ENCODE. You will see a list of the HiC files available on ENCODE. We're going to look at the first one, which is the GM12878 MB01 primary and replicate map. Click it, and then you have to click OK. Otherwise, you can click multiple and load at the same time. But for now, we're just going to load one file and click OK. While that file is loading, I'll tell you a little bit more about Juicebox on the web. Juicebox on the web makes it easy to browse maps side by side and to share exactly what you're looking at with collaborators. The core functionality of browsing the maps together with the epigenetic marks is the same as in Juicebox desktop, but the sharing functionality is easier to use and it's also easier to compare maps side by side. If you want, you can even browse Juicebox on your mobile phone. Now let's zoom in to chromosome 17. There are several different ways you can do so. You can go to 17, 17 in the chromosome picker boxes on the axes. You can go to the box itself and just click. Or you can use this hamburger icon, these three lines, click that, and scroll down to click 17 and click refresh. Let's change the normalization. We'll change it to balanced. The normalization is merely a way to even out the number of contacts per column or row. In a balanced norm, all of the rows and columns have the same sum of contacts in each row and column. There's other different kinds of normalizations you can apply, as you can see in this menu, but we mostly recommend the balanced normalization. There's several different ways to zoom into the HiC map. We're going to zoom into the region around 69.4 megabases to 72.3 megabases. You can slide the resolution slider down to 5 kilobases is one way to do so. Another way to do so is to draw on the map while holding down the Alt or Option key. It makes a box and it's going to zoom into that area. If you're on a mobile device, you can use the pinch gesture and then you can pan around 
or you can type in what you're interested in and go directly to that location. In this case, I'm going to type in a little bit closer to where I want it to go. Once you've zoomed into the region, you should see a picture that looks like this. When you're on the tutorial, we've sh helpfully shown you images of what this should look like. And so once you've zoomed in, you arrive at this image. Now we're going to look at how you might load annotations to explore further what to do with this kind of map.